Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Fractal Terra PC build that I have here. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the components I used. Um, for the CPU I have a Ryzen 7 7700 non-X. Uh, the cooler sitting on top of that is the ID Cooling IS55. And I went ahead and added the Noctua Slim Pen as you can see there. Um, that's sitting on the motherboard that's a B650E, an Asus B650E. Um, we got a Lee and Lee 750 PSU, and then another slim fan down here. Um, so that just goes to uh, to show you guys, I wanted to let you know, there's one fan for the CPU, one fan down here, this fan from the PSU, all intaking, and then the bottom one also uh, intaking, and we're pushing it out through the top. Um, the only other fans would be the Asus Dual 4070 Super here, which is not running right now. Um, PC is idle right now and it sits at 42 celsius that's for the cpu temperature the the cpu package is 53 uh sometimes 54 53 um but that's pretty much the regular temps that's on standard mode using the um the asus uh what's it called the armory crate i'm so sorry the plan today is to try to see if we can make a few mods here um planning on putting a 90 mm fan millimeter fan right here so it would be this one we're going to try to fit it here somehow right above the psu see if that works it will be this way yeah excuse me it's a little dusty i was using i gotta clean that um and then we're going to try to see if maybe we can fit this little tiny fan right here so it sits in this gap right there I'm planning on using Velcro, some sticky tape. I know it's very DIY, very uh, do-yourself, but um, which I honestly don't like. Uh, but we'll see how it looks and see how it fits. Um, the only other fan I want to add is one at the bottom of the case. Also something I did not want to do. Um, but we're going to try it to see if it actually works uh, since we can't actually fit one inside. There's no space in there, only for the other side. Um, so we're going to try to drop these temps. Remember, this is 42 Celsius on the CPU. Uh, CPU package is about 52, 53. Um, so we're going to try to drop uh, those or lower those temps uh, once I uh, add these fans to it. All right, so quick note, uh, actually. So I kind of messed around and I'm using the Armory Crate. I do have like the MSI Afterburner and a bunch of others, HW monitor, everything. Um, but I just kind of use this one here, just quickly look at. 35, we started at 42. This is at 35 with only adding the bottom fan, but I did just now put them at full speed. So that's why that's at full speed. There's, it's pretty quiet honestly like it's incredibly quiet i'm very happy with these noctua fans um but yeah 35 that's that's yeah i had to show you guys that all right so show you what i made up here or where i got to at first i tried to do velcro and use a sticky tape to paste it to the side panel there and that can easily remove the fan on and off. Velcro didn't stick to the tape, so that was a bust. I then just applied the sticky tape to the side of the fan and then the side of the case panel. And honestly, it's sturdy. I can even open the thing. Um, check it, actually, let me show you. I can open this thing and it literally misses everything. And honestly, this little fan does work. Uh, it really uh, kicks it's super quiet right now the only thing by the way i also added that fan under there as well and it's it's working it's pumping but i'm so confused <laughs> it is now it's been sitting here for a minute maybe more than 30 for sure but as you can see my cpu temps are uh 44 degrees and it goes to 45 44 it hasn't dropped from 44 this is the lowest i've seen it and this is with the two additional fans on this thing so if anybody can tell me 
how that's possible or what did I do wrong or maybe why it's two degrees higher because it used to be 42 as we saw earlier and now it's 44 45 so two degrees for, you know three degrees higher not sure uh, what happened honestly but uh, I'm gonna keep working with it and uh, gaming with it as I guess you know two three degrees um, to me it, it is a big difference to some it's not I think it's it'll still be good in the 40s that's fine but the goal is to try to make this thing get cooler so we will see and keep testing all right so now uh, I got some different results so I went ahead and removed this little tiny baby fan where we had it located right here underneath it was pretty much right here you know underneath the uh, so it can pull air out outward um, so I removed that so just test test around a bit and um, I don't know how but it is now 42 so it went back down to original 41 look at that um, I just turned it on about two minutes ago so I'm gonna leave it but the 40 what okay <laughs> Now that's confusing. So I removed the fan and it got cooler. Huh. If anybody has any idea why this is, please comment um, or let me know. Comment below. Um, please, because I, I really don't know now <laughs> what to do here. So I really wanted to add that little fan there at the top, but it looks like it's, it just doesn't work. It makes the PC hotter. Uh, it's wild. So, um, we'll keep testing. And I'm planning on getting some thermal paste to try to make it cooler. I know that that's going to probably, I've heard that good things about the MX, the Arctic MX-6. I have, I've used the Arctic MX-4 on this PC. I heard the MX-6 will probably drop temperatures by, I mean, I've seen in, in certain posts and blogs and whatnot, uh, 5 to 10 degrees. We'll see if that's really the case. I mean, if that's true, I might even just remove that bottom fan that I added there because I honestly don't like the fan down there. Um, but, I mean, we'll see. We'll keep testing, you know. Uh, All right, guys. So, in conclusion, uh, we ended up removing the small fan. There's a few things I do want to let you guys know. Um, again, I did use Armory Crate, and I used the standard profile which makes the fans run like about five to 600 RPM. Um, it doesn't really go too much. I tested and set the fan speed for the chassis, which is the bottom fan, the CPU fan also I, I modified, and then the bottom fan that we added um, to all run at 1150 or 1200 RPM. It's still silent, um, but it did drop, it did help. Um, it got down to like 40, 38, 39. Um, so it fluctuates. Um, but yeah, I still don't understand why the small fan uh, adding it, it just caused it to be hotter. And I made sure it was actually pulling air out. Um, one thing I will note, I was using the USB-C cable that it comes with. Um, so there wasn't any way for me to adjust the fan speed or anything like that. Um, I had also plugged in that small fan to that this uh, you see this cable right here um, But I had no control over the fan that was running at full speed and it was actually really loud So that that didn't work um, Then let's see what else I should mention um, I think that's about it all in all really just the bottom fan alone seems uh, seem to to be enough um, as I got my temps down to like, like I said, 38 or at one part where I put it at full speed, it got to like 34 at one point, but I don't want to run the fans uh, that fast all the time, um, because of the wear and tear and, you know, the, the longevity of the fans lifespan. Um, but, um, yeah, very interesting. I did like the fan up here, but, um, it did make it hotter. So I removed it. Um, the next thing I'll be doing will be trying out the Arctic, Arctic MX-6 thermal paste. Um, like I said earlier, I've heard really good things about it. And if it does actually get back to those 30s, mid 30s with just a paste alone, um, or even lower, then I might remove that bottom fan um, and just stick with that. And then definitely um, 
you know just stick with it like that and keep the whole minimal case the whole minimal feel like it is because the bottom fan i feel like that's just it's not part of that whole minimal look or, or whatnot um but yeah i know there's not a lot of space with the fractal tear i've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people doing different things there's even a mod up here for the 90 millimeter fan which i did not actually try to put i could have done the same thing with the tape on the side but i decided not to uh, after seeing that temperature rise um but yeah um if you guys have any questions or if you guys can tell me what you think or what maybe i had did wrong or or maybe some suggestions please feel free to comment um and subscribe i'll be posting more videos as i'll be continuing to try to cool this thing down more um and hopefully uh these little you know uh I guess presets or, or uh, modifications help you guys, especially the one that, that works here with the little fan actually works out. Or maybe you guys can think of a different way, maybe set them up across. Uh, I've seen a mod, another one where you can actually line up like four on this side for the GPU, but yeah, I'm trying to get the uh, CPU to, to stay cooler. So um, again, please comment below, subscribe, uh, like the video. Um, that would be very helpful. And uh, thank you again. Thanks for watching. Till next time.